What's up gamers? Today uh, I'm going to be showing you all a strat that my team and I came up with a few weeks ago uh, on Aviator uh, in Villa. Okay, and you guys have been asking for a real long time for uh, me to show some footage of my team running the strats that I uh, show on YouTube. And uh, today I'm going to be trying to incorporate a couple of rounds of my team playing this strategy in a competitive league that we play in. Uh, so hopefully that can help you guys understand the strat a little bit more. And as always, I have sectioned this video up into five parts, uh, each for one part of the strategy. So if you're planning on sending this video to your friends and planning on executing this strat in ranked or whatever you're doing this in casual, why, why would you do this in casual? Um, you, you can go ahead and uh, drop down to the description below and there will be timestamps for each part of the video. So if your friend has told you to learn a specific part, you know exactly where to go. And as always, I do recommend that you watch the entire video, especially for this strat, because it does get really complicated at times. Uh, just so you understand what you should be doing because you know, strats need to work together to end up winning you the round. Uh, but we're just gonna get right into it and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the round that my team used this strat in our competitive game um, right now. And then after you get a general idea of how this strat should be working from this round, I'll go ahead and give you guys the tutorial on how your team can actually run this strat. Uh, just so you get a little bit more in-depth uh, knowledge. The shooting main door they have open? A nomad in the hey, oh, I, I got it, I got it, I got the nomad, I'm okay. different. Okay, okay one edge up, down. They just cam, just FYI. Okay, okay. Mate, like bottom main, bottom main. At this point, we can really see the study maestro cam racking up a ton of utility. I think that was two drones and a nomad gadget, uh, which is a lot of util for just one maestro cam and study. But I don't know, they're doing study. I think oh my doing god, they're below. They're doing study bottom main, study bottom main. What are, why are they below? They went basement, yeah. They tried to name me below. They needed Someone my bar. Someone needs to support Aiden. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move to the Goyo here. I'm just gonna let him wait. I'm gonna, no, 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 Andre, Andre, stay 90, stay 90, stay 90. I don't worry, I just bailed yeah, my Goyo. Watch. At this point in the round, we've identified a push from the attackers, so we think it's gonna come main stairs and study. So Aiden rotates back to the Goyo shield in the hallway, and uh, we kind of prepare for them to push study and the main stairs side. Peeking red, peeking red. Hey, shout out to camp, so mad. They're nading, they're nading. It's gonna get caught though. I'm gonna keep watching. Four drones, four drones. Okay, two nades down. Sledge is no more nades. On, it's it's on main. Sledge is on main. Two or study. Though. Three or study. My cam's out. They're Not flashing me. I'm, I'm gonna reinforce this. Pop the Goyo, Andre, if you want. I'm Andre, pop the Goyo facing me. They're coming my main stairs. They're coming main stairs. Oh, Sophia dead? Wrong Goyo, that's fine. Right Throw my dead? Nice man, there's oh, one yeah. main for sure. There's one main for sure. Okay, I'm going back to, I'm going back to vault support. Andre, don't think. And, okay, Sledge is no nades. Sledge is no nades. Yo, ask those stairs. Oh, why? Well, that's not important. What? Okay, peeking oh, in the night. Yeah, sure, you watch that cam. Watch that cam, daddy. Watch oh, peeking, on the peeking, door, peeking. on the peeking. doorway. I'll tell you, no, they're not peeking anymore, Andre. I'll tell you when they are. I can't cover your I'm red door. These sledges, no nades. Right, Someone needs. Cam. Jake, hold my door, please. Don't overextend them. Okay, hey, peeking, peeking the hall. Sledge is study. Sledge is study. Sledge is study. Sledge is study. Peeking that hall, Andre. Holding your hall. They're holding an angle on your hall. I can ping. They're pushing up. Pushing up, Andre. I'm ping. I'm smoking my door. I'm smoking. Okay, they ran away. They ran away. Okay, they're gonna have to run in me. They're gonna have to run in me. Yeah, they're pushing up your hall. Both are coming. Both are coming long. Wrong thing. You can kill. I'm smoking. I'm smoking. Jake, Jake, hold this. Hold this. Hold this. Okay, Jake, hold on, hold there, hold there, hold there, it's Jake. He's gonna have to run and be- Oh, and be, and be, and be, and be, behind the map, behind the map. Wait for plant, wait for plant. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. gonna have to push us. Jake, tell me if he's rushing Andre, you. Don't give him ones, there. don't give him ones. Andre, hold our doorway, just don't pull, push in. He's gonna have to plant here or push everyone. Peek planning, planning. Bait, 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 wait, 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 don't push him, don't push him. Oh, God, nice. you guys are so fucking good, it makes my cock hard. Daddy, chill. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on how you can set this strat up, and I will do it operator by operator. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna be kicking it off here with smoke, and uh, we are gonna be running the shotgun SMG 11 kit uh, plus the shield. There will there will rarely be a time where I'll recommend you do not take the shotgun SMG 11. It's just so powerful in the current utility meta. Uh, but smoke, I'm starting off with him because he probably has the most essential job uh, for the strat. So as smoke, what you want to do very first off is you're gonna go ahead and slap down a rotation between the two two sites right here. Okay, and I do like to make this rotation pretty big. Uh, and the reason why we put this here is uh, so we're able to get between sites, obviously, but also so we can hold this crossfire, right? If they're entering this site and I only peek from here, I'm probably gonna die. But I can peek from here, and now I can peek from here, and it works both ways, right? That's why that's there. And then we're gonna be making you rotate right here in the bar side. And then of course we're going to reinforce next to it. Okay, that all looks good. Uh, and the reason why this is here is that uh, you'll see later in the strat, it helps Jaeger, but it also helps you as well. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna finish the setup and then I'll explain more about this rotate later, all right? Um, and then for your, for your last shield, you're gonna wanna put it right about here. Okay, this is where I like to keep it. 
A lot of teams, you'll see them put it up a little bit further, but I just feel like it doesn't protect you enough uh, if, it, if it goes up that far, uh, right? I'm sure you guys understand that. But during the round, Smoke, you basically you basically only have one job. It's it's to uh, control main stairs, right? These are the main stairs. I don't know what other callouts are for these stairs. My team calls them main stairs. Most people call them main stairs. Um, but what I do as Smoke here is I'll just sit right here, okay? Right here, I'll hold this angle, and then my teammates make a lot of callouts on study, all right? But this shield really makes it a lot safer for me to be able to walk up and down here and contest the study window a little bit. Maybe even if they're, they're running in study, I can maybe get one pick as they run in to go for that wall. But kind of what you're doing here, the most important thing, uh, although contest contesting study is important, the very most important thing is holding below. So I'll make sure to sit here. I won't use my shotgun. I don't know why I pulled that out. Um, I'll sit here below, hold this angle, and it's really important that you're not letting attackers walk up the staircase because if attackers come up here, they get a lot of access. Right, this hallway right here, this little short hallway right here, is really, really important uh, on this, you know, on this upper floor of Villa, right? So we want to invest a ton of util into controlling this hallway, but a lot of attackers understand the importance of this hallway as well. So what they'll do is they'll hop on this window, right? And they'll destroy your shield. So if that happens, or if they push you from below, if they're if they're pushing below really, really aggressively, uh, that's going to be a problem for you, obviously, because all you're going to have here is some barbed wire from Jaeger. And if they're really, really pushing down here, obviously you have the smoke utility, right, to slow that down a little bit. But that might not always be enough. So what I'll do is, if I'm really getting screwed down here, I'll make sure to make the call out to my teammates. It's really important for you as smoke to be making call outs to your teammates so the roamers know how they can be flanking and helping the team win the round. Um, but if I'm getting pushed, if I get pushed out of here, that's why there's this rotate here, okay? I go right through here, all right? And I'll keep one reinforcement in the pocket, right? In this strat, we only use nine reinforcements on walls, all right? So we can have this wall, uh, my team calls it a reinforcement in the pocket. So if I get pushed out of here, I can just go ahead and rotate back here, come into sight, reinforce this wall, and uh, look at that. Now we probably wasted about half the round over there on main stairs, and we still have total sight control, all right? Hopefully that'll make sense for smoke. Uh, but you know, obviously we don't we don't want to be getting cleared out here as easily So uh, we're gonna be using Jaeger to reinforce this position a little bit more Okay, now Jaeger Jaeger's obviously got a lot of util to get down But uh, like I mentioned just now uh, in the smoke section We're gonna be wanting to give smoke an ADS right here. Okay at the top of the at the at the study door uh, rather um, just to support his shield, which he's gonna have right about here. Uh, so if they end up getting on the study window with Zofia or an Ash, you're gonna be able to deny a little bit of that utility uh, with the ADS right there. And then for your barbed wire placement, I'd like to slap both down at the very bottom of main stairs. Okay, and this is just really to help out Smoke, uh, so they can't just sneak up here and kill him while he's on main stairs. Say Smoke's fighting someone's study, it's just really helpful for him to have that notification of someone, you know, creeping up his main stairs. All right, then for your last two ADSs, we're kind of just going to use them to reinforce uh, already powerful positions on site, like the bar. Okay, I'll throw it down right here. And then all the way over into Aviator, we have a pretty powerful position right here behind the uh, couch. This is really just used to stop grenades coming through the rotate, which there should be a rotate right here. Can actually make that. Okay, I wouldn't recommend bringing the M870 here. I just use this M870 so I can make the rotates for you guys. So you guys can kind of get a better idea of where sight lines are happening and all that. All right, but uh, this really helps grenades through the rotate and uh, into vault, right? But hopefully that makes sense. Uh, now Jaeger during the round has a pretty, pretty important job. Uh, he's not necessarily roaming here. Uh, what I what I do with Jaeger here is I put him in 90. All right, this this part of the map, basically all the area around site is super important for our defenders and attackers. So what we want to do is we want to do everything that we can to hold that. All right, so Jaeger should be playing 90, right? And if I'm here in 90, you know, the most likely push is going to be from red stairs or uh, backside, which is like bedroom area, right? Deer, okay? So we're going to want to invest a lot of utility down here, which we will do with Maestro later in the round. But for you as Jaeger, all you really need to know is that you're going to have a cam down there, which you should be watching, and how to play around this window, right? You're not going to be getting anybody from main stairs, all right, because Smoke's playing there. So you're not going to need to worry about that side of the hallway. But as Jaeger, you just want to sit 90. Basically, all you have to do is watch this side and this window, okay? Uh, and obviously, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Sit in 90, deny the red side, the bedroom side. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense for Jaeger. And we will get a little bit more complex here with some Goyo shields uh, later. Uh, but, 
you know, for now, that's all you need to know is Jaeger. What's up, gamers? Uh, I just like to remind you during this short intermission that I do stream on Twitch during the weekends and as frequently as I can. And I would really, really appreciate it if you took the time out of your day to stop by, drop a follow. I will leave the link to my Twitch in the description, or you can just head over to Twitch and search up caffeine with a PH and two N's. Uh, I'd love to see you there, and uh, let's get back right into the video. Okay, Goyo. So uh, this is kind of where this strat gets uh, complicated. In my mind, it's just more interesting, but uh, it might get a little confusing to you guys. So I'll do my best to explain everything. But uh, as Goyo, you're gonna wanna get some reinforcements down before you even start placing your shields. So you're gonna wanna slap the bar walls and then get vault. Okay, bar walls are good, let's go get vault. Looks great, okay? Now I'm gonna be making this rotate here just so you guys can see what it looks like. But as Goyo, it is not your job to make this rotate. Just make sure we keep that extra clear. All right, we got that open. Now, Goyo, for your shields, you're gonna wanna put one right here, okay? Facing this way. All right, and then one right here on this little, what is this, an arc, arch? Slap it down right here. Okay. Now, what this does, it, it, it almost creates a little pocket for you to play in, right? If you end up losing uh, this way, because usually an attacker could just swing around here and deny this entire hallway. Uh, but obviously, if we have these Goyos here, you're going to be able to hold a lot uh, more powerful position in this hallway. And what these are really meant to do is provide a, f a viable fallback position for Smoke, who's on main stairs, and Jaeger, who's in the 90 hallway. Okay, so I explained it a little bit earlier. Smoke and Jaeger are getting pressured really hard. They both kind of have the same options when it comes to leaving, which is run through to this rotate. But uh, what these Goyo shields do is give them, you know, it's kind of like a, a first line of defense in 90 on main stairs, second line of defense on these Goyo shields, right? I, if, if they're pushing for main stairs, I can rotate over to this Goyo and I can go, Bert, 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 you know, uh, do, do what you do on defense, shoot the attackers, right? Okay, same thing with Jaeger. If Jaeger needs to rotate into here, this can be a second line of defense. You can get behind the shield, Bert, Bert, anyone in 90. All right, and then if he's screwed there, you always have the option. That was embarrassing to pop the Goyos, okay? You always have that option uh, as well. And then what you can do is once this fire goes away, go ahead and rotate in here. But this is mostly instructions for Jaeger uh, and Smoke. Hopefully, whoever is on your team playing Jaeger and Smoke has watched to this point in the video so they can understand that little, uh, little detail that's supposed to help them rotate a little bit easier. But uh, as for Goyo during the round, he's gonna be a sight gamer, all right? Now, Goyo, Goyo can fill a roaming position. He can fill an anchor position. It's really up to him uh, and his team and the strategy, right? But as Goyo, what I'm going to be doing during most of the round is probably just sitting behind uh, behind bar right here, waiting for the uh, uh, the colla the attackers to collapse. Sorry. So bar obviously is a super powerful position. Okay. What you can do is you can sit in here. Obviously, you can deny this door. There should be a rotate over there. You can help deny uh, a lot of shit in there, and then you can always support Jaeger or smoke, right? Since this rotate should be here, okay, and it's smoke's job, remember, it's smoke's job to make this. If this rotate's not here, go yell at smoke, not not me. I, that didn't make any sense. Okay, but you swing out here, you can go support smoke on the main stairs if he calls for it. You can go all the way out to support Jaeger in 90 if he calls for it. And what you're mostly gonna be doing for that is playing for refrags, right? It, you're really not gonna be going there to like help them shoot people, because you, you'll just get funneled, right? And then, you know, it's, just, it's all bad. But what you want to be doing is trying to get the refrag after Smoke or Jaeger dies. And hopefully that all makes sense for Goyo. Okay, so, uh, so far throughout the strat, we really haven't given too much love over to study. Uh, which we will be doing here with Maestro, and I'll show you a couple tips that I know, uh, to keep those study walls closed. Which, uh, if I'm being realistic here, study is probably the weakest point in this strategy. Uh, and, uh, right now at least. And it is the most, one of the most common pushes for this site. But, uh, once, once we sort things out, it should be a little stronger. Uh, but before you even do that, you're gonna want to get some reinforcements down as Maestro. You're gonna be reinforcing both the aviator walls and, um, brain fart, and between the sites, okay? Alrighty, looks looks killer. Alright, there will be a rotate here. Again, just making sure we're clear. You as Maestro do not need to be making this rotate. I just want to make this rotate right now so I can show you guys what it looks like and why you put this reinforcement here. Okay, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory when it comes down to it. Uh, it is really just to protect the study door 
uh, from getting angles deep into this corner, which is a pretty common play spot uh, later in the round when, when the attackers are executing uh, here. But uh, as Maestro, one of the other things that can do, it's really optional, is just go ahead and make some head holes on this side of the wall. Okay, what this can do is this can give the guy playing bar a really nice angle into the other site, just to give it, you know, attackers one more angle to watch while they're executing on the site. Uh, and then, as for Maestro, your barbed wire placements, you should be giving one right here on the study door. Go ahead and slap a barricade down here. I really like having this barricade here. Um, just to, you know, get a little notification of when attackers are going to be on site. Okay. And now for your cam, sorry, I'm going a little bit out of order here. Hopefully you guys can follow. For your cam, I'm just going to slap it down right here. Pretty common position, okay? And I'm not going to leave it like this. It doesn't really watch anything. I'm going to make sure I turn it. Just in case if I die and I'm not able to turn it later in the round, it will be watching something useful, right? This cam's really, really useful for the guy who's playing inside of 90 to make sure he has intel on people going from the red stairs and from master side. All right, that should make sense. And then, um, sorry, you're gonna want some barbed wire on this camera as well, all right? Um, what this does is obviously, again, that notification of, uh, someone pushing the hallway. But if it's like a sledge or something, really just sledge, uh, coming up here to bonk this camera out, right? They're gonna need to walk on this barb, and you get a notification when they're pushing up. And you can always use that audio cue to go ahead, uh, and swing 90. But my sure you're not gonna be playing in 90, it's gonna be Jaeger, okay? Now for your last Maestro Cam gonna run all the way over to study got the pistol out just so we move a little bit faster okay I'd like to put it right in this corner okay and I will break the hatch out uh, not only because it eliminates sledges from being able to hit your camera it also gives you some Intel on a pretty common push spot down below uh, art room okay so you can go ahead and look down there, see if there's any guys in there. A lot of times people will set their drones up in here and go ahead and zap those out. But the reason why I like this Maestro here so much is because a lot of uh, a lot of teams will will you know just throw a Thatcher charge in the corner here, which won't get that Maestro right. That's safe from the Thatcher charge if it's along this wall or in the corner. Obviously, if they see it and throw it in the over there, it'll get the Maestro. But um. A lot of teams won't really drone this room. They'll say, oh, there's some bandits. Huck a Thatcher charge. Shoot some Habanas on the wall or throw an ace charge. Uh, in which case, your maestro is really going to come in handy here to zap off any projectile hard breaches that get thrown onto this wall. Right? If it's a thermite, they're probably going to be inside here. And they're going to need a lot more control of study to put a thermite charge down on this wall, which they really can't get unless they clear main stairs as well. So it's kind of hard for the attackers to actually get into study with this strategy. Okay? Uh, so they usually have to resort to projectile breaches, Habana's aces, and then like I said, that Maestro cam, zap them off, it's an, it's an easy, it's easy utility for you. Okay, but as Maestro, my favorite place to play is inside of the vault here, okay? This will get reinforced by Bandit, uh, I'll cover that in the next portion of this video, okay? Um, I just like to sit in here during the first three seconds of the round. I will make sure that I'm playing on cams Especially the default ones. Okay. These are really helpful to get a general idea of where the attackers are pushing right say say there's like bandits gonna be roaming right so say they spawn ruins Which is uh, to my left here on this camera. They're probably gonna be pushing art room or study, right? So I can call out. Oh, hey bandit. You might want to roam to contest art room, but if I see them on on um wrong way on this camera right here i'm like oh bandit they're gonna be pushing uh master side so you should probably go roam to contest master right making those little call outs to your teammate just to, just that little bit of information can be surprisingly valuable uh for your team okay and then after that uh what i really like about playing in vault here is you kind of get a crossfire with yourself Okay, that's the reason why this rotate is here. Usually a crossfire requires two people to hold, and crossfires are almost unbeatable, okay, in most situations. But what you do is you get a crossfire on both the bar doorway and, and, the, uh, and the study doorway, right? Look, I can peek this from here, go over here, peek there, right? That's basically a crossfire with yourself. Same thing on this side, look. I, I'm peeking from two angles, but it's only one guy. And since they're so close to each other, I can, you know, they can't, you know, you can move so quickly between the two that it's like, it's hard for the attackers to place their crosshairs correctly, right? That's why I love this position so much for Maestro. And uh, also the bullet hose. You guys, you guys know about it? Here, let me show you. All right, Bandit, you got some reinforcing to do, so we're going to go ahead and get that done real quick. Uh, you're going to want to be getting the two uh, walls and bar right there. Okay, those two. And then the vault wall. All right, I'm going to get that done. Cut to it.
Look at that. We got it done. Okay, so uh, I'm sure you guys understand why these two walls are here as well as the one inside of a uh, vault here. Okay, uh, but Bandit, your loadout doesn't matter. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but um, your utility as Bandit is going to be pretty useful. Just help those study walls. Okay, I'm sure you guys know how crucial the study walls are to keep close on this strat since the attackers can get such free angles from outside of study uh, into the site if they end up getting these walls open. What I'm going to be doing is uh, reinforcing these walls and just putting all four of my bandit charges down here. Now, you're not going to be tricking. Uh, obviously, if you watch the maestro portion of this video, there will be a cam in here that uh, helps you out quite a bit. So you don't really have to trick the wall. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get that all banded up so you guys can see what it should look like. Okay, that all looks great, uh, and I'd just like to remind you guys that as Bandit, your job is not to reinforce these walls, okay? This is somebody else's job right here. Your only job and responsibility as Bandit is to slap the shock wires down on him. Okay, but uh, let me get more into Bandit's playing uh, position during the round, um, which is probably the most important part of having Bandit here, okay? Bandit's gonna roam. Uh, and he really is the only roamer on this strat. Now, I know on this map, there's a lot of powerful roaming opportunities. Uh, and take and only having one roamer really kind of doesn't take full advantage of that. But I, I think based on everything we have set up so far, we really don't need two roamers. Honestly, this one roamer isn't even necessary. You could have Bandit sit on site. Uh, but what I like to do, obviously, time is, is so valuable in Siege. So what I like to do is I like to have Bandit start off over here, okay? This is a really common push for attackers. And obviously, your anchor's on site as Bandit should be calling out to you and saying, yo, they spawned uh, over here by Fountain, or they spawned by Ruins, so you know where to go as Bandit, right? If they spawn Fountain, you know they're probably going to be doing a fount or a, a Master Push, rather. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of intel, so you know where to position yourself early on. And what I like to do is I like to, early on, get in attackers' faces. Okay, I'm not saying play overly aggressive. I'm not saying peek them. What I'm saying is put yourself in a really, really annoying position for attackers. So they're going to be pushing in here. Put yourself right on this door, okay? So they really have to worry about where you are. And then what I do with that, with attackers worry as a roamer, that's exactly what you want as a roamer. When you get the attackers worrying, you have them right where you want them as a roamer, right? They're going to need to be spending tons of drones on you. And then I like to use my method, it's not mine, but uh, shoot a drone, fall back, right? Say the attackers drone me out, they see me on this door, I take that drone, I run away. Okay, and then I'll go into a different spot right here, all right? The attackers will definitely be droning bathroom. You see them huck a drone in the window, shoot the drone, run away, okay? And if the attackers end up getting a lot of control back here, you're obviously free to rotate, right? You have Astro Stairs, you can go back through 90, which we should maintain control of. Uh, and obviously, as a roamer, you're, you're a dynamic position, right? So that means you're moving around a lot based on where attackers are pushing, so you're adapting to attackers' pushes. So if you're not getting pushed, listen to your damn teammates, man. If your teammates are saying, if Smoke on Main Stairs, most importantly, if Smoke on Main Stairs is saying, yo, I need help, look, here's why I love this room so much, okay? You have here, you can watch red stairs. You can go down red stairs. You have here, you can go down here. You can flank red stairs if they're pushing red stairs. And right, you can go all the way around to main stairs, okay? You can go basically anywhere on the map from uh, from that statuary room, which is why I really like to play there early on uh, in the round as a roamer, okay? Hopefully that all makes sense, and uh, we should be, we should be uh, done with this. Thank you for watching the video to this point. I hope you learned something. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. And if you did, I would really, really appreciate it if you dropped down to the description below, left a like, left a sub. It uh, really, really helps me out when you guys do stuff like that. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Gamer out.